Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will solve another exercise on loops. So here is the exercise. We want to write a program which displays a string with a space after each character. So here are some examples. Suppose that we have this string over here. A, B, then a space, then C, D. Then our program should display the letter A followed by a space, then B followed by a space, then the space followed by a space, and then C followed by a space, and then D followed by a space, okay? Another example, if we have this string over here, our program should display this over here. So this is a small hint. Remember to use that char at method of the string object, okay? So pause the video and try to solve this exercise. So let's have a look at our solution. First of all, we are going to iterate over the string using a loop. And in this loop, we will have a variable i that starts from zero. Because as you know, the index of the first character in the string is zero. So the index of the last character in the string is the length of the string minus one. So we will iterate from i equals zero up until the length of the string minus one. And each time we will display each character concatenated with a space. So let's go to IntelliJ. So suppose that we have this string over here. So in order to iterate over this string, we are going to use a for loop. In this loop, we will have a variable i starting from zero because the index of the first character is zero. And we will continue iterating as long as i is less than or equal to the length of the string str minus one because the index of the last character is the length minus one. And each time we will increment i by one. So have a look over here. The index of this character is zero, right? And after that, the index of this character is one and then two, then three, then four. So the index of the last character is the length minus one. So in this case, this string is of length five. So five minus one will give us the index of this character, okay? So now inside the loop, each time we are going to get the character at the index i and print it concatenated with a space. So we are going to print str dot char at i plus a space, okay? And of course, we want to use the print method, not the print alum method. So run the program, and this is our output, okay? Let's try another example. Run the program again, and as you can see, this is our output. So this exercise is to show you that we can iterate over a string. So this is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.